Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and before we begin today, let me ask you a very simple question. What do you use your Android for? To take calls, send text messages, to send WhatsApp or hike messages or let's say take selfies, right? But today I'm going to tell you 10 out of the box things you can do on this particular Android phone and achieve some of the things that you never knew that you can do on them. Now you might be knowing quite a few of them but still it's worth a look. So let's check that out. The first one in the list is the remote controlling of the Android phone using a web browser on your computer. So let's say your friend or your relative needs your assistance for an issue on their Android phones. Apps like TeamViewer and Visor can help you with that quite easily. We have already done a detailed video tutorial on how you can use TeamViewer to get a remote control on an Android phone and you can click the link at the top to watch that particular video. Now I understand that taking a remote might not work all the time and that's when my tip number 2 comes in. You can easily record a video on your Android screen and send it to your friends or a family member. You don't even need root access to do these nowadays. Apps like ZD Screen Recorder works on Lollipop phones using which you can record and share videos quite easily. If your device has not been updated yet, there is still a way you can record the screen using ADB and the command prompt on Windows. Check out the description for the links to the detailed how-to article. The third in the list is about transferring files from Android to PC using Wi-Fi and you can use apps like the ES File Explorer and the A-Droid to make that possible. Again, you can check out one of my previous videos to see how you can easily get that done. The fourth tip is specific to devices that have the IR Blaster in them. That means using specific apps you can control other products like your TV, your setup box and even the air conditioners using your mobile. Now configuring these apps is super easy and all you need to do is point the device and press the button. Just as easy as the traditional remotes. If you have a gamer in you, you are going to like the fifth tip and using that you can turn your Android phone into a wireless joystick using which you can control your games directly from your phone. You can find the link of the app that I am using in the description and it's not just about the games, you get features like extended desktop, mouse pad, wireless keyboard and a lot more. Truly an app worth checking out. Now the sixth tip is about tracking your Android phones and you can use apps like Cerebrus and Avast to help you locate them using the web. A very useful tip in case you misplace your phone. Using the web you can locate the device and even sound an alarm with a personal message. Android comes in with the built-in feature of called the Android Device Manager if you want to go free but the apps like Cerebrus and Avast charge you a few dollars. Moving to number 7. Did you know that you can use your smartphone as a fitness tracker without the need of any special hardware like the fitness band? A lot of Android smartphones these days have enough sensors that can keep track of the number of steps you take without the need of the extra hardware. You can use apps like Endemondo or Rentastic to help you with these things. Now up in number 8, using this tip you can use your Android phone 
for video surveillance. Now you can install an app called the IP webcam and using this app you can stream videos from your camera onto your PC. So let me just place this particular device in my living room and I'll get back to my computer to see how the footage comes. Now on your browser you'll have to enter the IP that's broadcasted on the IP webcam and once you open the web page you'll get all these settings using which you can get the audio along with the video footage. Now I'll just go out in my living room and see if that works. Now the reason I have not used any special lighting is because I want you guys to have a look on a real life scenarios. Now up in number 9 is my per personal favorite and that's playing multiplayer games. Now when I say multiplayer games I don't mean the clash of clans or any of such games that you go and play on the internet. What I'm talking about is the multiplayer games that you can play on two Android phones when they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now there are games like Asphalt, Real Golf 3 using which two or more players can connect to us the same Wi-Fi network and enjoy the game when they are around. Last but not the least, using an Android phone you can calculate your heartbeat and determine if you're gonna have a stroke or not. Apps like Instant Heart Rate are pretty accurate at telling you at what your heart rate is and if you don't need an extra sensor for it, your camera is more than sufficient. So guys, those were 10 out of the box things you can do on your Android. Now if you have any additional tricks you would like to share with us, please do put them in the comment section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.